grappling and all that stuff. So we got Lewis with the blue. We got Alex with the red tape. This is the first official MMA. Three rounds, three minute rounds, guys. And they're off. No glove touch, getting right to business. And with that height advantage, there also comes advantage with being the shorter guy with the pocket fighting. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing, he just caught him with a nice little hook. And Luis got those elbows wide. Ooh, nice knee. Ooh, nice knee to the midsection there by Lewis. Oh, good clinch. And that's another thing, being the short fighter. I've been in this position many times where I get clinched, and I'm like, yo, I don't want to be here. <laughs> but Alex is keeping his composure. Switching a bit. And one thing we might see that knee end up doing some serious damage. Don't want to see it happen to any of the guys. No, no. But with every time Lewis is uh, throwing that jab, he's moving his head down. And there goes Alex. This is what he wants. And he got training at Dark Wolf. He's under uh, Christian Lowson. Christian Lowson, David Lowson. Yeah. So I'm interested in seeing how he utilizes the skill set that he's picked up from those yeah. guys. Right here, he should have used his forehead, um, make it uncomfortable for Lewis under the chin against the cage. But, you know, these guys are still learning. They're still amateurs. Lewis landed a nice calf kick there. And you see how Alex is crowding up here? This, oh. this is where Alex needs to be. He needs to be pressing the action, yes. getting his shots off, moving off to the outside of uh, Good Lewis's Good head movement. Legs. There it is. You see, now he's taking the center of the combatagon here. Lewis in this position, when he has, if I'm Lewis, I'm going to attack the body as well. These guys always want to headhunt. Oh, you see those knees. He can't take many of those. Oh. And there it is. With he his head being down every time Lewis throws a strike, he's opening himself up right to get kneed up the middle. And you know, it's a gray area, and especially in amateur, because there's no knees to the head or, to, you know, at all. If you're shooting, but my knee, my leg was in the air, and I, and you catch my knee, you're at fault there. You yeah, know, yeah. not me. Even though it's illegal, it's a gray area there. You got to watch behind the head, though. Nice, nice sit out. But again, he, Lewis exits with a knee to the midsection. And thanks for the reminder. I'm still used to Virginia MMA, where we're throwing Full elbows and knees for ahead. For free? In yep. Emmys? Yep. Wow. Oh. Wild West, baby. For free? Oh, my Lord. But Lewis is doing a good job here, keeping the pace. Got him up against the cage, throwing some knees. Alex is, it seems like Alex is being overwhelmed right now. I think he, he finds himself. everything down. He was getting some good shots, jabs, little uh, hooks. He did a right good job top. turning him there. Oh, he took a lean low, but the referee didn't see it, so the fight must continue. I like to see him set some shots up. Yeah, you see how he threw that right and he just, oh. Are they gonna take a point? I think they should. If the knees aren't allowed. The they're, they're not allowed, but you know, you're not supposed to dip either when you're square. You're not supposed to dip when you're square. Even in boxing, <laughs> you don't dip. You just well, we'll see what happens oh, here. Oh yeah, it was in transition. It's, it's like uh, behind the head strikes when someone's yeah. on the ground. If you're turning your head and you get hit behind the head, it's not really a legal shot. Yeah. And it, there it is. Ooh, and it on the bell. If I'm Lewis, what I would do is throw that jab and then a rear leg right to the head because he sees keeps that dipping, yeah. Alex keeps dipping. That's one way to take him out of there. And in terms of what Alex needs to do, he needs to start pressing that action, play with his, play with Lewis's lead hand, start trying to get some shots over the guard, and then work his way in. Absolutely, Even man. Even with the good head movement, he's yes. still very stationary, right? There's nothing. There's nothing behind the head movement. You know, there's no pivots. He's not cutting corners. You know, he's just standing, staying stationary, and he's staying squared against the cage. If I'm Lewis, you know what a lot of cats are doing nowadays? Uh, they're doing that nice front kick. Mm -hmm. That could be pivotal too. I wonder how these cats don't break their toes more often throwing those front kicks. Man, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit the elbows, it makes me scream like man. Tom from Tom and Jerry. We're ready for round number two. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning in, want to say thank you for tuning in. We got Alex Rodriguez with the red tape. We got Luis Perez with the blue tape. Round number two. There's a fan that is 
Chirping. Some words of encouragement. Or maybe hate. You never know. Alex opened up with a nice high. No, he, oh, he eats a nice left there. And that was really good by Lewis by catching him with and that left and, and then leg kicking him. And they're calling for knees. I think Alex needs to believe in his hands a he little does. bit He does. He got to let him go. He's waiting. The yeah, he's really trying to load up. And you know that's a bad habit, crowding like that. Yeah. You know, if, if you crowd like that here, you do it in the gym, and that's something that needs to be corrected. And he's going for a single here. He closed the distance. You but should get his head under Lewis's chin, but now he's in the front headlock. And Lewis is doing a good job staying long. I just heard him say, hey, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Now what Alex needs to do is start working two on one. Get yeah. his hand. Oh, there we go. He's got to move off that fence and start pressing him. Make Lewis respect you. Oh, 100%. Because right now Lewis is gaining confidence and he's just going to start pouring it on. And yeah. We've seen it many times. Fighters start to break yep. when they're on this case. Oh, these are hard shots to yeah, the body. Yeah, Alex has got to go for broke here, get him off, get take the center of the, of the combatagon. He got to throw something. He just can't crowd here like this, JP. Yeah. At this point, you got to bite down on that mouthpiece. Yes. Yeah. I'm in a fight. I got to go. Because you only have a few more minutes. And he's smiling in there. He's having a good time. But this is where he needs to be right here. But he needs to set up those punch, the strikes, man. He got to set them up, close that distance. It's easier said than done, right? Of course. And this nice double there by there Alex. But now he's got to get active, pass that guard, press that leg down with his left hand, cover the hips. We got a lot of time, it's 40 seconds. He needs to start advancing here. But Luis is working from underneath. Look, he got the hand on the wrist. Go. He's working to pass that guard, but he's, I feel like he's not fully comfortable thinking that Luis might get up, but now he's in a and better see, And now Lewis needs to get on his hip. He can't be flat on his back, especially in half guard here. He got to get an underhook and try to get up, but he's trying to threaten with a Kimura here. He could probably use that to, to reverse him. With and what Alex needs to do is push his left shoulder into Lewis's armpits to defend that. Yeah. But sometimes it can be a little bit risky when you're it not could. fully respecting the Kimura and then that person really yanks it. And now you're in trouble. Now you're in trouble. Now you have to, what do you do here? Do you flip to get on your back? Because mm -hmm. that's what he wants. He wants either the Kimura or he wants a reversal. That's a, a better round late in the round for Alex, but I don't think it was enough. No, nah, it was not enough, especially with the strikes that Lewis was landing on him, pressing him on the cage. He's up on the scorecards. Alex is going to have to finish him. You're Alex. You're Alex right now coming out in this third round, what are you doing? Or what should your coaches be telling you? What I think is they should be telling him to press the action and don't, don't start ducking your head and moving your back to the fence because now you're giving him the advantage to start teeing off on you. He needs to start popping his jab, moving to the outside of his lead foot, trying to get a cross right over Lewis's lead hand and then press and just stay right in his face. And if I'm Lewis, I'm just doing what I need to do. I'm and doing what I've been doing calm. the past two rounds. So you see how Lewis got his hands low now compared to the first two rounds? Because he expects a shot coming. Or this multiple is a perfect shots. time for Alex to get like a, a, a faint. double lead hand yeah. and then send a left right over the top. Yeah, right. or faint. Faint to take down and come over the top with an overhand. Good hips by by Lewis here, and I like the hand placement. Now these guys are touching the hips, and these guys are <laughs> on a different level now. The amateurs are on a different level now. There we go. Now he gets his head in the chin. Yeah. Now Start he got the head. The legs. Start working them a little bit, because he can step in front of them and throw them down to the ground, just like that. But he just moved him off the cage. But he's got to keep it going. He's got to keep pressing. Because you can look in Lewis's face. That guy is calm. He's yeah. He's not stressing anything. 
He got his hands low now. He's really confident right now. It's like it's good to see those guys have fun, but it's like have fun, put your opponent out. Oh, for sure. You're down on the scorecards, you got to take them out of there. But there's too much waiting right now. Yes. Lewis is sitting there with his hands down. There's no down. no urgency is yeah. coming out of uh, um, the red corner. And he's the one that needs to be urgent. He's down. Lewis can chill a little bit. And uh, Lewis's corner is still calling for him to press. Like, they want him to finish the fight. They don't want him to just cruise. Alex has one minute and ten seconds to let it out. Ooh, beautiful lead body hook there. He should follow up right to the top, right to the head. Because he's throwing one strike and Lewis yeah. is getting about like three to four. Yeah, this is one at a time. It's not gonna it's not gonna help. And he shoots here. No setup, so it was gonna be hard to get that. Yeah, and plus Lewis had the the underhook here. Ooh. Time. They call in low. Yeah. I'd say for Alex, he's gotta take his time. Oh yeah. Recuperate, get his uh get the bearing straight, and he's got forty two seconds to try to take this fight away from Lewis. And I tell Ramsey all the time, man, calling these fights like these cats, they don't, they don't I'm taking advantage. If I'm down and I'm like <laughs> gas right now, I'm gonna take the full five, four or five we, minutes. We were Ramsey talking about that last fight. I don't, I'm not gonna let the crowd dictate me. He's gotta go, keep 30 on going. seconds, he, yeah, he gotta bring it. You gotta put the hand, yeah, but like you said, JP, bite hey. down. And just put the hands together. And kicks and knees. Just, just missed landing that flush. But he had a good few seconds of uh, aggression, but then he kind of reverted back to the habit of moving his back on the cage. I think that's something that he's going to have to start working on in the gym to not do. There it is. You see? He landed a few. There we go. He's going to get that takedown. Uh, did they give it to him? Do they give it to him, JP? I don't Probably think not. so. He didn't control him, right? No. In this case, it was it was a little too late, but very great showing by both men. Yeah, Alex did show a lot of grit, man. The, obviously, he'll look back at this and hit, and he'll see all the mistakes, right? He'll probably put, put us on mute, mm -hmm. and he'll see all the mistakes <laughs> and, and stuff that he has to capitalize on. And again, these guys are still, this guy is in his early 20s, man. He just turned. And I was seeing some really good things from Alex. Like, he's comfortable switching it up. He was the only one really shooting yeah. in this fight. I right, think if he just pieces his hands together to the shot, we go to our he'll get it together. Yeah. And then we're your winner by way of unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Luis Perez. Give it up for both men. Oh, absolutely. Congratulations, Luis Perez. You know, big shout out to uh, Alex Rodriguez. He's going to go back and he's going to learn from this 100%. I truly believe it.